Hey there, welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. I'm Nathan Fox, that's Ben Olson, together with the founders of LSATdemon.com and our weekly podcast, Thinking LSAT. We've been getting lots of emails that are similar to this one from Edgar. Why don't you go ahead and read? It's just his short little email. Sure. Hi, Ben and Nathan. Have you seen the new law school rankings released by US News? Do you think anything is worth mentioning about the changes in the rankings? And then I guess you added these bullet points. I added these things. I mean, like the things that made headlines, yep. which are factually true and matter not. Mm -hmm. Harvard, no longer a top three law school. Oh yep. my God. Is Harvard now a shitty law school? No, <laughs> nope. it's still fucking Harvard. Yep. And everything that comes along with that outside of the law school, right? <laughs> It's ranked fourth now. Yep. Okay. It's still the best law school on the East Coast. It, 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 <laughs> there's no difference. Also, just think of the branding that Harvard carries. You know, we talk about national law schools. <laughs> Harvard is one that carries international recognition. Yeah, so. and I don't think Harvard gives a fuck about top three. I don't nope. think Harvard is out there saying, well, you know, we're a top three. <laughs> we're one of the top three law schools in the country. Nope. They say Harvard, we're Harvard. says, we're motherfucking Harvard. Yep. You've heard of us. <laughs> they don't care. Come on now. Okay. Maybe there are admissions deans. Maybe they're, you know, like I'm not. They're probably would, talking about this, but they want to just, you know, what are they going to do? I don't know. Does it make a significant difference in the quality of applications that Harvard actual law school is going to receive? No. And yeah. what we know about U.S. news rankings. So the other two bullet points here, you know, everybody's making a big fucking deal. Georgetown, now back in the top 14. UCLA, no longer in the top 14. Oh, yeah, well, geez. okay, that was a change that happened one year ago or two years ago where Georgetown yep. and UCLA flipped. Mm -hmm. Oh, and now, shocker, they flipped back. Yep. All that does is illustrate how stupid it is to pay attention to any of these rankings or any arbitrary top 14 or top three or top 10 or top anything. You see Hastings, you know, they dropped out of the top 50. Oh my God. Yeah. Yep. The Hastings community should be shocked that you see Hastings is no longer a top 50 school. Well, okay. They were 50th and now they're 51st. Yep. So what difference does it make? So the only thing that should make a difference is if you go from, say, 14 to 30, right? Then that's more than 100% change. Something probably happened. I was super disappointed to see this above the law ranking mm. or this, the, sorry, this above the law article. Yeah. I just think that this is shamefully bad. This is like so stupid. And I really wish that the, I know that there are real smart people at above the law. Mm. And I wish that they would not let this kind of clickbait bullshit go out, mm -hmm. you know, but it, all this is, is it's just like a headline about the new rankings. And of course, they're going to talk about big changes because they want people to click it and share it and everything. I don't yeah. think we should even put a link to this in the show notes because this is just so dumb. But, yeah. you know, it it's like, oh, a big change in the top 14. And it's, it's like, oh, okay. So a whole bunch of non-issues like Georgetown is now in, is now 14th instead of 15th and UCLA is now 15th instead of 14th, you know, Chicago plus one, they're now top three. Harvard, yeah. This, this actual, one. this, this chart, which they show here and they show what they either, they show how much each school has gone up or down. You have Yale zero, Stanford, zero, Chicago, plus one, Columbia, zero, yeah. Harvard, minus one. There, there, All these numbers are zero, there plus are no one, plus or minus twos. one. Nope. There are no So there are no twos. changes. <laughs> there are more zeros or the same number of zeros as pluses and minus ones. Yes. Which you still could, means nothing. Means the same exact nothing. data would have supported a more accurate headline that was like bunch nothing of fucking changed. nothing. <laughs> yeah. Just ain't, don't look over here. Nothing to look at over here. But of course, that doesn't get clicks. And so they just put out this complete dog shit article. It's just so dumb. It's like a what it's almost like. a. It's not a listicle, but it's about the journalistic equivalent of a listicle with like quote from supposed experts and just a bunch of dumb, you know, here's the big winners and losers. And it's like, oh, because William and Mary went up five from thirty five to thirty mm -hmm. Who mm -hmm. fucking cares. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not a difference that matters. I, 
anyway, okay, whatever. It's distasteful and I don't want to talk about it anymore. The, Thank you. <laughs> uh, well, our take is if it's not a hundred percent difference in their ranking, then it just doesn't mm -hmm. make a difference. Mm -hmm. like when you're comparing two schools to get to each other, is there a 100% difference in the rankings? Yep. If not, I don't want to hear about it. If you're confused by that, you just take the smaller number and you double it. And if the ranking is within that frame, then fine. Right. Uh, so there's Berkeley, no change. nine. Mm -hmm. Hastings, 51. Mm -hmm. There's a significant difference in those law schools. Yep. Stanford, two. Berkeley, nine. There's a significant difference in those law schools. Mm-hmm. But these new rankings did not change any school to the, to even close to that margin. Yeah. And so every like it's just every year this happens. And it's almost like I'm tempted to to like we should start doing this. We should start publishing a bunch of clickbait bullshit on the day that the rankings come out. What, if, what actually wait, what if we what if we published articles that just said you bunch of fucking nothing. Nothing happened. And then people are like, what? <laughs> Once again, I heard again, something did happen. <laughs> don't look at these rankings. Yes, let's do that. Um, we need to put a calendar reminder. Hopefully our team will hear this and do this for us. But let's let's get ready. Let's let's chamber a a press release to fire out on April, whatever it is, or sorry, May, sorry, God, March 27th or 28th or whatever it is because we can just go ahead and tell you in advance, there's not going to be significant changes that fucking matter at all in next year's U S news rankings, no matter what you hear, none of it matters. It's just not, it doesn't have anything to do with the underlying differences between these schools. The rankings changes are never big enough to actually make a difference. These schools are the same schools. They always were. Uh, yeah. So, okay. So let's put out, oh, no one's going to pick this up, by the way. Like no one's going <laughs> to, it's going to be only for our own amusement, but it's going to be like nothing happened. That's the headline. Yeah. Anyway, thank you, Edgar, for writing in. Email daily at lsatdemon.com if you'd like to ask us a question or share some LSAT or law school admissions news. Thanks for listening.